This is Rod Knock. Rod Knock, is that, is that your boy on YouTube? <laughs> What is going on guys? So we are down at the shop working on the Coyote, uh, the Gen 2 short block swap. So so after I recorded the last clip, so I actually noticed some issues with the timing components. It's gonna set us back a little bit, um, but we're gonna get this done right and it's gonna be good. So when we were looking at the timing components, we actually found um, later on that one of these is worn um, extensively, so. As you can see right here, um, there's a missing chunk of the timing components right there. I'm trying to get it so you can see. It's just this little little window there. There you go. You can see it better. So yeah, it's missing that section there. So I went ahead and ordered a fresh set of timing chain guides. Uh, the chains themselves should be perfectly fine. These chains are very strong. Um, don't have any issues. We're going to reuse the crank here. We're going to reuse the tensioners. Um, all of these things are pretty good, uh, so we don't need to worry about that. So we're going to get some new. So we're going to get new guides. Uh, we're obviously going to be reusing the cams. Uh, these are 11 to 14 Mustang cams, obviously. Uh, the other thing that we found that was a little um, concerning, and since we're going to have more time, uh, we're going to pop the manifolds off of these, and I'm actually going to go ahead and bring these over to a machine shop, have them checked, have the valves checked, so it'll be good, and we won't have to worry about a thing. So, one of the things we noticed here, and notice how we can see uh, daylight through the valve. It could just be stuck open uh, from some debris that I can actually see right in there causing the valve to kind of stay open. I think you guys can see it too. But I think it's best to just get these checked out. Let's make sure they're good. Bring them over to a machine shop and let's not have issues. So, so today isn't going to be a major progress day, but we are going to make the car a roller because we're going to have a week of downtime um, between the machine shop, getting the parts in, and all of that stuff. So we're also gonna check out the clutch today, so see if we need to order a new clutch or not. So today we're gonna make the car a roller, which means we're gonna pull the short block trans off of this, um, take that out of here, put the K-member back in, just make it a roller, roll it back out, that way Nick can use the shop during the week, and we're not tying up the lift for a long period of time. One day we'll have a big shop where we can tie up a lift all we want, but for now we gotta work with what we got. All right guys, so I have done a terrible job of filming my progress today, although that's okay. This video is going to be mostly about um, the issues we are facing and overcoming them. You guys saw a lot of disassembly in the last video, so we're going to show you exactly what I just did while we wait for Zach to show up. I need a little bit of uh, help um, to lift some things, um, but I went ahead and got the manifolds off the heads. These are going to go to the machine shop. I believe I need to take the rollers and the lash adjusters out, but I'm going to check with Nick and see what the machine shop likes and how he wants these disassembled so they can inspect them and do all that good stuff. I have the transmission completely unbolted. Um, it's ready to just swing off. Our K-member stuff should be supported. I also have the motor um, pretty much ready to be pulled too. So we are definitely really close to just kind of yanking everything out. We're going to put the K-member back up in the car. This is going to be kind of nice though. We'll get the car, you know, out of here. Um, and we have an engine stand for a Gen 2 short pluck. We'll get the heads back. We'll assemble and put the heads on the car. We'll time it. We'll put the valve covers. We're just going to do everything right here on an engine stand. Then when we're done with our motor, we'll bring the car back in, drop the K-member out, and get cranking so should be a good time uh oh mr zach is it popeyes dude i asked for popeyes in the drive through <laughs> the lady was not amused she was like you can go down the street if you want that <laughs> sick so we got a sick drip tray below us don't worry about it sure do all right guys, the key to taking off an oil pan, you have to make sure that you're very careful not to mar up any of the surfaces. Woo now, now, hold on. Explain to the, the commenters, we got a hole in the pan. And a nice one right here, oh. and on the other side as well. 
Holy crap. That's from the piston going through it. Oh, Dude, speaking that's, of, that's, that's why that's we why were... the oil pump was so high. But remember oh, the and orange that's, piece? That's the orange that piece. Found? Yeah, so it, it broke off the orange piece. Good okay, stuff. so that oh, you can still see some of the orange piece right there. And yeah. what is that? This is a whole last another sensor down here. Pull it up. Dude. Pull it. Dude. <laughs> oh, that's our uh that's the bottom of our rod. Yeah. Our whoa, 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 what is that's a rod cap right there. Wow. Go go grab the rod cap. Dude. Oh, the bolt completely backed out. So it wasn't an oiling issue, it was the, the bolts backed out. Yeah. Wow. I've never seen that before. For are these factory bolts? Yeah. They look like it. I've never seen factory bolts back out before. It was a 2011, man. And then this sensor. I mean, are are wires inside the oil pan as well? I don't think so. Because That's this is weird. That, I mean, it's messed up for sure, so. Those are definitely wiring connectors. So you might need a new. <laughs> oh, dude, look. That's our rod. That is our rod. Kind of curious if. Oh, yeah. Papa, let's try to pry this out of here. Okay. Stand back. Oh, no, here's all our pieces of our rods. Yep. Oh, I think I think it'll come out now. Yeah. Yep. I want to see what the oil pickup screen looks like. Because if that's clogged, it could, could have caused oiling issues too. I mean, chances are it's probably clogged now. Yeah. But. I might have to just get a tin and pop that off. That sounds too responsible. It does. <laughs> now everybody's going to be like, you could have reused that. No, I've, this is actually, I wouldn't want to reuse anything from this. No, well, this is actually going to Ford. It's a it's a that's core. A, okay. It's a core. That's literally all it is. It needs the block. I think they they want the oil pan. I yeah, guess they can have it. They can have the oil pan. It's messed up. Although it's kind of weird that like you know I didn't cause it. It is. You know like sometimes it's interesting because you know what happened at the moment of it blowing up, but yeah, I mean, we don't. This one was definitely. The... Wow! Look at that. The pickup was clean. Yeah, I, th I think it's honestly because the that that rod bolt. Yeah, but it, oh, would, you, it would be interesting. You can man. put this on the ground. We actually got a bunch of parts down here in the in the bottom. Dude, look. Wrist pin. <laughs> yeah, let's get this off here. Oh, hold on, I see something shiny. That's more main caps. Yep. So so only one bolt backed out. That's interesting. Only one bolt backed out and it caused oh, look. It to break it completely off. Well, that's for me. Oh yeah, that's that's you. There's a lot of good stuff down here. For sale, lightly used. <laughs> lightly used oil pan. Always wow. use synthetic. So, do you want to? This is what's weird to me. Look at this. Yeah, I think that's uh that's L broken. Yeah. So oh. Can't use that. We'll see if the new one has. That's one. Oh, you ready? Yep. Woo! Okay, I got it. I got it. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh, baby. Woo! Well, oh, look at this. Just freaking snapped. Completely wrecked. Hell yeah, brother. Broke off there. I mean, honestly, the rings are intact, so that wasn't the issue. Were intact, I should say. Yeah. Little, oh, look at that nice crack over here and over here. Uh huh. What's the. It's on the wall. Hey, I can see. <laughs> the other pistons are still there. Oh, I saw a chunk. Okay, almost there. Almost there. Yep. I got. Oh! <laughs> Woo. There is days. nothing left of this guy. Look at the the ring. Wrecked. Damn. Forged internals, baby. Yo, look at this. I think this is 
the reason we've seen that small nick. Yeah, that's a piece of the piston that. Yep. Oh, well, it's right there, I think. Yeah, maybe. Holy crap. Is there anything else to really look at in here? No, I mean, we got a the clutch on Dude, look, look at the rod, it's still. Just dangling on for dear life. Rod knock. <laughs> this is rod knock. Rod knock, is that, is that your boy on YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> it's good stuff. Dude. I'm gonna get Here's your rod knock. Yep. <laughs> get some new gloves to pop that clutch off. Yep. Let's see what we're working with. Hell yeah. Got the pistons. Oh wow. Alright, so Zach convinced me to take the K member out of the area over there degrease it and we're gonna put this back in the car make it look brand new make it look nice since the motor did go kapowy and oil and everything went all over this it'll be nice to have it nice and cleaned up so we're just using a can of engine degreaser yep. let it sit on there and then hose it right off we are doing a terrible job of filming our process today but that's okay we show the destruction um, so we are putting the K member back into the car uh, we use this table, a little support going on. Uh, we're just going to line this up, sandwich it up there, put the bolts in, and make this thing a roller. That's right. That's it, man. Well, as you can see, we have been putting in some work. Car is out of here. Bench is clean. We got all our bolts. Everything is bagged up, labeled. I uh, really like the organization. We have everything, you know, labeled. Nice, nice, put away. We got the new Gen 2 short block timing cover. The cams are there, they're wrapped up. Unfortunately, it looks like we may need new cams and new heads. Nick just looked at them. I already kind of had a suspicion. Zach had a suspicion. The cams um, were just, there's just metal that was just sent through everything. So, unfortunately, it appears that we need a whole long block. So, that's a lot of fun. But anyways, we are gonna go ahead and search around for some heads and try to figure out, you know, how to get this thing back going. Cause so we got a block and we got everything else. You know, the clutch all looks fine. Everything else looks fine. We need to get heads, um, probably whole timing chain set and cams. So it's gonna be uh, fun. It's not gonna be the weekend swap we thought it was. So it sounds like it would have been a little bit better to go ahead and get a complete motor. So we would have just taken a motor out and put a motor in, but we're already pretty involved at this point. You know, we could change direction, you know, possibly, you know, switch this out or do something else, but we'll figure something out. And that's kind of why I'm not releasing this video series until everything's done because stuff like this happens and um, but I'm pretty happy with everything's packaged everything is put away neatly we have everything in the car so if you guys enjoy this series make sure you slap the like button down below leave a comment let us know what you think and hopefully we figure it out because well when you guys see it we, we will figure it out I'm not gonna let the car sit there for very long because I need to sell that to be able to do the GT500 motor so hit the subscribe button we will see you guys in the next one